Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error message in the services window on your Windows computer. This is a Windows cannot start the Windows firewall on the local computer. For more information, review the system event log. If this is a non-Microsoft service, contact the service vendor and refer to service specific error code 13. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check it back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select the yes. And then before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Just double click on that. Double click on the current control set folder. Should be a services folder in here. Double click on it. And then go down to shared access. And double click on that should be a parameters folder in here. Double click on it. Firewall policy, double click on it. And then there should be something that says firewall rules. You wanna go ahead and right click on the firewall rules key and select delete. Are you sure you wanna permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Select yes. And then you wanna go underneath restricted services. Right click on that key and select delete. Select yes on that as well. Now, you may not be able to delete all the keys in there. It's okay. You just want to select yes and see if it allows you to delete any of the contents of the key, which it appears that it did, and that is fine. So once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and close out of the registry editor, and we will proceed to restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.